Hello everyone, welcome to the new video at Excel IEL Physics Unit 2, June 2017. Uh, this is the part 1 of my model answer solution for Unit 2. Uh, in this part, I will give you model answer for uh, 10 MCQs. So let's just start. So question number 1. Which of the following is an SI base unit? If you see, they are asking you about the base unit and there are seven base units and if you remember the base units out of all seven base units so volt joules and coulomb uh, these are not base units so only option is is ampere so a is your option question number two the current in a wire is 25 milliampere calculate the total charge that pass a point in a wire in 200 second so if you know the definition current is equal to charge over time meaning if you need to find the charge then q is equal to i times t so uh, current is 25 milliampere milli is 10 to the power minus 3 times time and time is 200 second and if you solve this it will give you charge of 5 coulomb that means 5 coulomb so option is C question number 3 the current potential the current and potential difference graph for an electrical component is shown so this is the IV graph of a component uh, which of the following is the electrical component so first option is diode filament lamp light dependent resistor and the thermistor so in all these cases this is IV graph initially at some voltage there is no current but as you increase the voltage current is start increasing rapidly and this is behavior of a diode so the option is A next which of the following is possible unit of radiation flux? Radiation flux. Radiation flux, in short form, I am writing it RF. So, radiation flux is uh, power per unit area. And the unit of power is what? Area is meter square. And what is joule? second inverse meter square minus 2 yes because it is in denominator and now it is in so the option is uh, yeah, D five a source of sound moves uh, moves at a constant speed towards a stationary observer the frequency of the observed sound wave differs from the frequency of the emitted sound wave the frequency of the observed sound wave is okay so the source of the sound moves at a constant speed towards the stationary towards the stationary observer meaning frequency is going to increase the apparent frequency is going to increase so our c and d option immediately gone and uh, let's choose it's because source is moving so the speed of the wave is higher now because then source moves so the wavelength of wave fronts comes closer as source moving so higher because of wave fronts are compressed option is B question number 6 a motor has a power P it is used to lift an object of mass M through a height H in time T which of the following can be used to calculate the efficiency of the motor Okay, so mass M, height H. So if we have a motor and this motor is used to lift an object from the ground, this is height H and this is the mass M. If it is raised to the height H till here, energy stored is MGH, so that would be output. And they are talking about efficiency. Efficiency is output upon input. So, uh, 
so efficiency is output energy or power whatever divided by input so in this times of course 100 if in generally but we don't need to find the efficiency in percentage we just need to give the approach so here the output is uh, mgh and the input input because the motor has a power p and in time t so energy in term of power and time is pt efficiency is mgh over pt and your option is a next two waves each with a wavelength of 2 cm leaves a single source in phase and follow the path shown. This is the source emitting some wave of wavelength 2 cm. The one wave moves in that direction and the other wave moves and reflects from here and reaches that Okay, so I'm just calling, this is uh, R2 and uh, the first one is R1. So, if I find the distance covered by R1, so distance covered by R1 is 2.5 plus 2.5 which is 5 centimeter and distance traveled by R2 is 4 plus 4 which is 8 centimeter. After reaching at point A, path difference, which is delta R, is 8 minus 5, which is 3 centimeters. So, 3 centimeters is the path difference. And out of these 3, 2 centimeters is the wavelength. That means if you draw this 3 centimeter, so something like that. So, Till here, this is two centimeter, and for three centimeter you have you have one and half wave, and half wave in term of degree or uh, in, in in term of angle, uh, it, the phase difference between these two point is pi. So your option is C. The phase difference between these two waves is pi radian. Question number eight. Which of the following quantities may be defined as magnitude of the greatest distance of a point on a wave from the equilibrium position? If you have a wave, and let's say this is your mean position, and this is point of maximum. Uh, distance from the mean position this maximum distance is called amplitude amplitude your option is a next question number nine a light of varying frequency is incident on a metal electrode and a maximum kinetic energy of electrons emitted is determined the maximum kinetic energy of electrons varies with the frequency of the incident light as shown. This is kinetic energy and frequency graph, straight line. Which of the following is the numerical value of the gradient? Okay, so this is kinetic energy and frequency graph. If you see, we have Einstein equation of photoelectric effect, which is uh, HF, energy of incident photon equal to the work function, phi naught plus kinetic energy of photoelectron kinetic energy of photoelectron if you rearrange this in equation in the form of uh, y equal mx plus c so it will give you kinetic energy equal hf minus by not and if you see the gradient is h so if you plot graph if, if you plot a graph between kinetic energy and the frequency like this then the gradient of the graph should be 
h and h is the Planck's constant. Planck constant. Okay. And Planck's constant value is 6.63 10 to the power minus 34. Okay. So this is A. Because rest are other constant. This is mass of the electron. This is charge of the electron or a proton. And this is speed of light. And H is a Planck's constant which is A. Last question. Question number 10. The circuit shows a potential divider. Two resistors 100 ohm and 300 ohm are in series with the 12 volt battery. Which of the following is the value of potential difference across 100 ohm resistor? It's quite easy uh, question because if you remember, if you need to find voltage across uh, any uh, around any resistor in potential divider circuit, let's say V1. So V1 is we can find the resistance R1 divided by total resistance in the circuit times voltage of the circuit, the source voltage. So if you need to find voltage across 100 ohm resistor, which is I'm calling V1 is equal to 100 divided by 400, which is the total resistance of the circuit into 12 source voltage 12 volt so two zeros gone and four four times one three so v1 comes three volt so option is a okay that's it for this video thank you very much thank you for watching this video uh i'll will See you in the next video for the rest of the question. Have a good time. Bye.